All right, hello. We are once again playing StarCraft Legacy of the Void co-op, and we've gotten yet another different map on our random map. I'm happy that we haven't had to do the same thing twice, and this is Destroying the Trains. So you may remember this mission from StarCraft Wings of Liberty. I really liked it. Of course, you had Diamondbacks in that mission. I don't believe that I get to build those this time. I am once again on Swan. And I'm playing Artanis, the stalwart Protoss. Um, we will see how this all works. Okay, project power field. Okay. To okay. ensure victory, we must destroy each of the main objectives before they escape our grasp. And we're going to be caught up in the need to build things. Here. I'm going straight for Vespine since I do so much. I need factories right off the bat. Yep, yep. I need vehicles, all vehicles, so they all need Vespine. So I can project a power grid wherever I want. That's handy. Uh, oh, wherever I can see that I want. And then I can move it with the same power once every 30 seconds. Oh, my factories don't cost Vespine. But the units that come out of them might, maybe? Yeah. I should do that as well. Two factories started. Supply block myself. Yeah, the supply block is real. I start off with so many SCVs, I'm just not used to starting off with that many. That is definitely a thing. I'm going heavy into gas early because, you know. Yeah, I do know. I should build a forge. Oh man, I've forgotten all my multiplayer stuff. Then I can build a cyber core. Oh, I should build another gateway. What is it thinking? Oh man, I can build like every Protoss building. That's good. Alright, Orbital Strike is online. This does use energy, whereas the projection does not. Five lasers doing 50 damage, 100 to armored, okay. I don't even, what, I don't even know what our objective is. Uh, we're destroying trains. Okay. We cannot let more than three, cannot let three or more escape. Okay, then I probably need to move into air units of some sort. Which means the cyber core has to come up now. Field research on route. Oh, I see, and they go right past us? Yeah. Um, you don't remember this mission? I do, but it's just been... Right. So I have my combat drop for the Ares ready. I think my orbital strike is going to be key. I wish I had diamondbacks. They were pretty solid. Located. It must be destroyed before it escapes. And it is moving quickly. Warriors, do not let it escape our grasp. Okay. This would actually be a better mission for Rainer because there are easy ramps to protect.
So I can just zap the thing with the laser once we get vision of it. That means we should get vision of it now. I'm gonna send this guy up. To evade the wrath of the what? Templar. Okay. Oh, There's bad guys coming towards our base from the other side. Yep. Upgrade complete. Okay, Phoenixes aren't actually gonna help me against the air units. Alright. <laughs> I sent my combat drops to deal with the uh, attack. Oh, okay. So they didn't even get near us. Well, I'm going to try and tear down. Uh, come on, words. Tear down this wall. Next base. Next base stuff. Ah, right. You have some sort of attack, or we have some sort of attack. Put my dudes on the ramp over there. Objective detected. It is attempting to flee. Of course, it, it is. is bearing towards an evacuation point. We will need to intercept it. Okay, I have a bunch of zealots at this point. Got to build us. Uh, you might want to build a command center over here. Alrighty. Oh, I I have to still enemy forces detected. Prepare our defense. Our defenses are pretty good on that side. I wouldn't worry about it too much. All right. Shield overcharge. I need to remember to use that. Okay, I need. Attempting to flee. We need to move if we're taking that thing down. Oh no. I supply locked oh. myself. Oh, my 
your deployed power field looks really weird. It does look weird. Upgrade complete. Alright, so there's a bonus objective at the bottom of the map. There's a hy- what's the hybrid? Where did the hybrid come from? Ah! Alright, going to the bottom bonus of the map. Bonus train? Yeah. It's moving fast. Let's catch it at the next bin. Our adversaries intend to eliminate us. Templar, greet them in kind. Your war is under attack. All right, back to my base. Your allies are in battle. No, they're coming up on our secondary bases. Yeah, I see it. Well, that helped. That's right, probes. Give us the targeting information we need. Main objective located. Oh, there's two at once. Be destroyed before it escapes. Yeah, and it's moving fast too. All right, let's go blow it up. All right, I'm gonna hit this one close to our our shared right, bases. The bottom one, then I guess. Oh Jesus! Alright, I got this one. Okay. I'm so bad at this game. <laughs> all right, all right, things are things are looking better. I'm gonna try and wipe out some of these defenses in the direction that those guys are actually coming from. Dragoons are doing me good. Glad to hear it. What? Why aren't you doing something, SCV? Main objective detected. It is attempting to flee. Oh, I see. Oh. They are trying to evade us. We cannot allow this. How am I doing on probes? Okay. Need more pylons. 
So both of the fast trains will be on the bottom lane. The enemy is coming for us. Templar, ready your blades. I haven't even built half the shit. No, I haven't gotten an air thing at all. <laughs> that was awesome. I had saved it for those purposes. <laughs> I like it. Main objective located. It must be destroyed before right, it escapes. I'll take the bottom one again. All right. That thing's booking on out of here. We gotta move fast. These dragoons are awesome. I should be down to join you. Bullet's objective located. It is attempting to flee. I'm actually going to move towards that. That's good. I'm fine here. Your Hybrid. Are in battle. Your warriors have engaged the enemy. Alright, okay, we have one more regular train to get. We now have both the bonus ones. Oh, I was like, what happened? Enemies approaching fast. Man, yeah. they look mad. Okay, I'm going to position my forces between the two ramps here. Your warriors have engaged the enemy. So I can fold in on them. Oh. Hey, unpleasant thing. Nearing completion. Best news I've heard all day. Let's finish this thing. Just the one? Yeah, there's only one left. This will be easy. Yeah, okay. Boatloads of dragoons. Good idea. I got my big sweep laser ready. Let's send one of these guys down to investigate. Yeah, okay. Lots of air forces here. You wanna shoot that sweep laser? I need to, yeah. We 
will meet them head on. Bye bye, train. And we rocked the bonus objectives. Yep. Sick beam, yo. Yeah, the beam's like the only thing I do. You build like five gajillion <laughs> units, and I just went, like <laughs> and use the beam. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. Oh, another successful oh, co-op mission. Levels. What? How did you get two levels? Because I'm better than you are. No, <laughs> that is not <laughs> what we saw. <laughs> I don't think. All right, so I earned two rewards. I earned Betty and the Gang, which does all the stuff for my turrets. And the second one I earned is another upgrade for the pulse cannon. Yeah. I mean, yeah. for the laser drill. Nice. I earned one because, of course, this is my first time with Artanis. Uh, Guardian Shell. Upon taking fatal damage, friendly units become invulnerable for a short time, preventing death. The same unit cannot be shielded again for 60 seconds. This is a passive, which is just ridiculous. Nice. Um, the next one is Superior Warp Gates, which increases the number of charges on Warp Gates from 1 to 3, so I don't have to build 15 of them like I did this time. My next unlock is an automatic Vespine Harvester. Oh, uh, Vorazun gets those, uh, and they're faster than your uh, workers can actually do. Nice. I'd like to point out that I did, in fact, kill more units and structures than you did. <laughs> what? You did and deal more damage to trains. Yeah. Yeah. So, um... Ah. Take that. Damn it. I feel like I did lots of work. You did. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no. Um, Artanis is solid and awesome with his uh, stalwart, tough units, um, excellent range, good damage on everything, uh, and the shielding and the orbital strikes like very versatile uh just what you'd expect from the ultra hierarch of the protoss race yeah i mean and if you're going into playing co-op viewers um the first three heroes the basic one for each race is almost like playing in multiplayer you have almost all the same units you have the basic stuff the macro is pretty much the same um, so you should just think of it that way. It's the second tier units where it's less like that because you don't have standard unit distribution. Like Swan has all mechanical vehicle units, uh, no infantry. So you don't build straight into barracks. You instead build straight into uh, factories. So if you want to get into it, obviously start with the first tier heroes. I mean, it does tell you that the second tier ones are for more experienced players. We went straight into him on our second because, you know, we had some experience. That counts. It's true. It's true. It totally counts. Yeah, and Zagara's lack of uh, infantry or ground units that attack air, it can be a nasty surprise for yourself um, if you don't build her, uh, what are they, Corruptors and uh, the Scourge. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but uh, it looks like when you get further into the unlocks from leveling up a hero, uh, their playstyle really starts to flesh out with really, really powerful abilities. And um, I, the Zagara stuff at the end was insane. So, yeah, I think uh, they play as you see fit. Anyone could play any of these, but uh, know that it'll be a tougher ride with the, the second set of three heroes, the more Swan, Zagara, and Vorazun. Vorazun also looked incredibly cool. All right, so that's uh, we've done our three co-op missions. We got our, I believe it's a Vorazun portrait that we unlocked. Hot. Yeah, so I think we'll call it a day okay. with the StarCraft co-op. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, so thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe. And we will be producing this content on our new channel when it comes out January 4th. Um, new channels, uh, a personal one each, and our Bleak House cooperative channel. So uh, until then, do as I say, not as I do. I don't care what you do.